everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because today we're gonna to be focusing on our shoulders. I am just wearing all navigation right now. I'm just wearing the sweater, the white sports bra, and the joggers along with some Converse. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well as like this video. And if you've done both of those, go ahead and click that little bell to turn on your post notifications so you never miss another workout with me again. All that being said, let's jump right into it. We're going to start this workout off with a shoulder warm up. What we're doing is warming up our rotator cuff. We're going to do three sets of 15 reps per side. So lay on your side, put a sweater or towel in between your torso and your arm. You want to have your elbow at a 90 degree bend and while you're pressing into that towel, you're going to turn your forearm so that your top of your knuckles are facing the ceiling. You're going to turn your arm back down until your forearm is parallel to the floor. Moving on to our rear delt cable row, what you're going to do is three sets of 10. So for this, have the cable machine set at shoulder height. You're going to grab onto the handle and row your elbow back. You want your armpit to be at a 90 degree angle, so make sure that your arm isn't too far down, not too high up. You're just going to row straight back with your elbow leading the movement. Moving on to our cable lateral raise, we're doing three sets of 10. The way I set up is I step over the cable, so the cable is between my legs. I'm not raising my arm directly out to my side, it's slightly in front. So my arm is kind of coming up a little to my side, a little in front of me, and so I'm lifting my arm straight up. I'm not shrugging it up, I'm just lifting my arm up simply by moving my shoulder. I'm only doing 2.5 pounds on this. This is going to be a hard exercise for most people, so don't try and be a hero and do a lot of weight. Really lower the weight and just focus on the burn in your shoulder.
moving on to cable front delt raise. We're doing three sets of 10. So the setup for this, you want to have the cable machine all the way at the bottom. You want your feet to be hip width apart. You want to hold your stomach tight and have your shoulder drawn back. You're going to lift your arm away from your body. So you're, you're kind of keeping your arm straight. There's a slight bend in your elbow, but you're not bending your arm at all. You're keeping that same length in your arm the entire time. You're going to lift your arm out in front of you to roughly a 90 degree angle just by using your shoulder. So don't try and shrug your shoulder up. You want to focus on almost like you're reaching in front of you, like you're drawing an arc in the air with your arm. Our next exercise is the unilateral shoulder press. We're doing three sets of 10. The reason I'm doing it one arm at a time is because I really wanna focus on my stability as well as focus on that one shoulder at a time so I really know where my shoulder is in its development. So what you wanna do is have your feet a little wider than hip width apart. You're going to stand up, keep your core tight. You want your elbow to be not directly beside you but a little bit moved in front of you. So a bit of a 45 degree angle in your armpit. You're going to come to a 90 degree bend in your elbow and then press up focusing on your shoulder the entire time. You're gonna release the press slowly and come down back to that 90 degree bend in the elbow. To the unilateral front raise we're doing three sets of ten again we're doing one arm at a time so have your armpit at a 90 degree angle you're going to press the dumbbell straight up in the air and you're going to come back down slowly you're going to feel this in the front of your shoulder so really focus on that flex in the front of your shoulder the setup is the same for your body so feet hip width apart a little wider actually than hip width apart and keep your core tight Honestly, I forget what this exercise is called, but I always refer to it as a shoulder opener. You're going to do three sets of 10. So what you have is a dumbbell in your hand, your elbow's at a 90 degree bend, and your arm is beside you. Your shoulder is retracted back so that your shoulder blades are pinching. You're going to move your hand from in front of you out to beside you. Go as far as your range of motion allows. Don't try and fight it. Eventually it will get better over time, but just go as far as your shoulder will allow you to go. Then you're going to come back in as far as your shoulder will allow you to go again. Moving into one of my favorite exercises for shoulders, we are doing the W press. We're doing three sets of 10. So have your feet at hip width apart. You're going to have two dumbbells in your hands, lower the weight. And what you wanna do is start with your arms shaped like a W at your side, and then you're going to press that W out to making it wider. So you're pressing your fists out diagonally and bringing them back in diagonally. Another great exercise we are doing is the around the worlds. So we're doing three sets of 10. So have a lower weight. You're going to start at the bottom. So have your palms facing the wall or mirror in front of you. You're gonna have a hinge at your hips so that your hands can be in front of you. What you're going to do is keep a slight bend in your elbow and keep that arm length the entire time. You're just drawing a big circle. So imagine drawing a circle around your body. You're moving your palms away from each other all the way around you and they meet back at the top. After you're at the top, you're going to bring them back down 
and you're gonna have to move your hips a little for this. So at the bottom, your hips are hinging back a little. At the top, your hips are hinging forward. Okay, you guys, that's it for today's shoulder workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up as well as screenshot the little page I made for you. Take it to the gym and give this workout a try. This is what the shoulder pump is looking like today after that workout. Feeling really strong, really happy that I did shoulders today. I haven't done just shoulders in a really long time, so that felt really good and it was really, really challenging. So if you want a challenge, give that workout a try. I also wanted to let you guys know I am doing another clothing haul that is coming soon. I'm waiting for the clothes still. It's taking a while to get here. Um, I ordered a few things from Alphalete. They had a sale. I tried to get a lot more, but it sold out so fast. So I kind of just ordered what I could. Um, that'll be coming soon. So just stay tuned for that. Uh, turn on the little bell, like click that little bell so you turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video with me again and then you'll get notification of when that video comes up and then you can just watch it. Um, all that being said, thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks so much for your constant support. It really, really means a lot to me. You guys are helping me achieve my dreams and, and actually want me to chase more of my dreams. So I'm so grateful for that. But yeah, so I appreciate your patience. I'm super excited to get this clothing try on up for you guys and I'll be super, super critical. As always, I'm going to be super honest. Um, but yeah, I was gonna mention a few things about the last try on haul I did from Alphalete, but I'll just actually save that for the video to come. Yeah, all that being said, follow me on Instagram as well as Snapchat. I've linked both of my uh, Instagram and Snapchat down in the description box. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys here next Tuesday. Mm -hmm.